for joining us on this edition of the show. I had a chat with a young engineer who is rapidly evolving as one of Africa's foremost Internet of Things expert. He recently participated in Elon Musk's Speaks S Hyperloop pod competition and his Outloop team performed pretty well. Our tech tips is on how to securely delete your phone's data. We have much more lined up for you, but first, enjoy some tech news and updates. This is Tech Trends, and I'm Chukwemeka Agbata. <laughs> Virtual and augmented reality is gradually becoming a household device as it gradually spreads into different industries from prepping for surgery to traveling in space. The opportunity and idea of virtual and augmented reality are limitless. The founder, MEC3D, Judith Okonkwo, is one of those in Nigeria taking the lead to make the country relevant in this emerging market and to ensure more young Nigerians are engaged productively in the technology industry. There's a whole range of VR headsets available from the really low cost, like Google Cardboard, which is you know open source, the specs are available online, so you can build your headset if you want to. And it is really basic, it is literally cardboard and lenses that you put together and you can experience VR. Nigeria is still at an early stage when it comes to the use and creation of content. Judith is working on creating exciting and creative content for VR. We want people to engage with this technology, to learn, like we mentioned, with things like the Udacity VR Nano Degree, so that they can start to create content locally, which is really important. One of the ways, of course, is making sure that we create high quality content because VR can, can actually cause things like motion sickness, you know, if you kind of like don't match the, the the experience in virtual reality as much as possible to the physical experience of the individual. Uh, so there are things like that, like teaching people to create content um, properly. There's of course a lot of ongoing research in the industry in terms of getting a more lightweight, more comfortable headsets for example, and um, if you follow the industry you'll know that quite a few of the Heavyweights in the industry, like Oculus, for example, are releasing new headsets in, in the new year, um, and they will address some of the features that you mentioned. Some of the biggest promises for the technology lies in the worker training applications. Judith introduced a VR apprenticeship program to teach and help people gain future jobs in the industry. Um, I'm doing a project on um, Audacity. Um, Audacity is a kind of platform where you can learn how to create content for VR. So the term is divided into three, first term, second term and third term. I'm on the second term and I'm working on a project which I have to submit before a certain deadline. So the project, they said we should um, create something that tells the society about the impact of virtual reality. So you can pick any industry you like and tell us how virtual reality can actually impact that industry. So because I'm, I'm passionate about education, I picked something on education and I, um, I'm creating a content um, that explains the impact of virtual rea reality on education. So there are various impacts of virtual reality on education that I've picked. Like for instance, students can go on virtual trips. Maybe for instance, there's a topic that has to do with excursion and maybe they can't take the old students down there. So you can actually create, um, there's a content that can take students to maybe, um, probably there's, um, uh, maybe students have to go to Idori Hills, for instance, and you can take a 360 video and put it in VR, and students can go in, uh, to Idori Hills from their classrooms. It's a virtual reality experience to solve educational problems in Nigeria. So tell me more about it. Uh, well, it originates from the hack we did last year, which uses like a leap motion controller, which is a sensor to track hand gestures, and it pairs that with a Samsung phone to allow you to bring your hands into VR. So you can now use these hand gestures and different signs to learn. The VR AR industry is expected to generate $7.2 billion globally by the end of 2017, and be worth $150 billion by 2020. In 2016, the sector attracted $2.2 billion in investments, a 300% increase over 2015. The overall number of VR companies swelled 40% in 2016.